I would like to welcome our very first guest. Uh, would like to listen from their experience so far. They spent almost how many days in India? Almost 13 days now. 13 days now. And we would like to hear from them how's their experience been so far. And uh, first of all, I would like to ask David and Kylie um, what, where, where the idea came from about a visit to India. Well, I've always wanted to come to India. And I think that comes from a love of history and culture and um, also the idea of the colour and the chaos. Yes. I've always had this idea that India was vibrant and um, colourful and chaotic and I really like the idea of that and that's why I always wanted to come. Yeah and I think that really goes for me as well. I think uh, that um, the, the idea of coming to India was for something completely different um, instead of just a, a, a relaxing holiday there's so much more to offer in India you get a bit of everything and uh, you know that whole part has been um, you know amazing really to, to experience all the different things that are here to offer mm. and you um, just follow your <laughs> yeah pretty much I, they just told me I was going to India and I was like cool <laughs> sounds fun um, I guess it's just uh, well we've been to lots of different countries and it's just another place that's nice and cultural and hot. <laughs> the second thing is, um, I'll ask you, well, particularly you, why did you choose to uh, go with Kiwi and Tiger? Because you, you were the one who met me in Christchurch and you decided to go with Kiwi and Tiger. So I'll just ask you, both of you in particular. So, um, we originally years ago had planned on coming to India and we had intended to do that just before the children, uh, backpacking way. And um, now that we have the children we thought we wanted to have an experience that they could enjoy as well without the, probably the hassles of finding our own way and uh, negotiating um, uh, accom accommodation and uh, and rides between one location and another. So um, that inspired us to start researching into to, to looking for a, a small or a tour company that um, was personalised, that, that could look after us. And, um, you know, we, we were reluctant to, to basically go with one of the, the major tour groups that they offer through travel agencies because we felt we would get better value for money and a more personal approach if we were dealing with the operator ourselves. So we started to research on the internet, uh, various places through um, uh, travel blogs and suggestions. And during that process uh, we were having a, a meal with a friend of ours and he said that uh, he, he worked with a colleague who, who was starting a company in New Zealand and, and uh, he gave us the name of um, Kiwi and Tiger. And, we had a look at their website and we were very impressed with the information and um, especially the detail that each of the, the, the links went to and we thought well they seem to have everything that we really are after and you know there was that little connection that it was from New Zealand rather than mm. actually only from India and um, you know we were happy to go with an Indian company but uh, we felt this was the best of both worlds instead of a, a, an international brand. We thought, well, this, this was a nice blend. And we, um, we made contact with Kiwi and Tiger and right from the start we were impressed with the feedback mm. and the information that, um, that led to us planning our holiday. And also the passion. The passion, yes. The passion and the enthusiasm <laughs> was, yes. was what did it for me. Yeah, yeah. it was, yeah, absolutely. Excellent. That is such a hard question um, because every destination has been amazing for different reasons. Mm -hmm. I think because I always had this, um, this desire to come to India for the chaos and the colour, like I said, I think for me, um, Varanasi was the first place to blow my mind. 
um, and I expected that. It exceeded my expectations, but I had expected it, and um, just the the feeling I got from it just was wonderful. But I have found that every place has had an aspect which I've been a lot more. Sp- I actually wasn't overwhelmingly keen about, you know. Um, possibly going from one fort to another to another and I sort of thought well architecturally David will love that but me maybe not so much but I've loved it I got Mm. so excited going to some of those places they were just spectacular and um, the other thing I found was the small places Mm. the small villages where the people invite you into their home and they talk to you and the kids wave at you and they don't want anything from you they just want a smile engage, and a wave engage, yes. yeah well one boy asked for the pen isn't it yeah yeah <laughs> the little boy who asked for the pen and ended up getting chocolates and drinks and and notebooks and everything that was really special yeah so i think that's right i mean like for me it's it's um every place has offered something and um every aspect of that has been um interesting and engaging and I think you know for each for different things I, I really enjoyed the smaller the smaller cities I suppose like Pushka and uh, you know because I felt they were at a nice level where you could move through the streets without the chaos but when you went to more chaotic places like Delhi and Varanasi um, they were just as interesting for their other reasons and uh, insane the, the, the big forts and the historical monuments and things to look at um, amazing for their aspect, and uh, mm. so you know everything is sort of mm. offers so much. Mm. It's very hard to put your finger on one thing or another. Um, mm. I think everybody would get something from somewhere, mm. um, if not everywhere. Yeah. yeah. It's good. To How about the best? What place did you like most, Lachlan? Well, every place was beautiful and nice. It was very interesting to walk around the streets and looking at temples and forts but my favorite place is probably um probably has to be the Taj Mahal yeah in Agra yeah it was just didn't look real just the white marble was just mind-blowing I can't choose a city either because there was just so much culture everywhere that we went and like colour and chaos and the culture and everything. It was just amazing. Do you, do you like to enjoy the sightseeing, the bazaar walks and the yeah. shopping? And yeah, I liked how you can just go out and there's a market and there's all these people on the side of the road. They're just selling stuff like cheap, like like the lassi or the jewellery or yeah. anything really you can just get on the side of the road Great, and how, how about you guys, did you, did you like the sightseeing like sightseeing, bazaar walks, in total like the monuments, everything Yeah, we um, with the kids uh, you know, you, you try not to see too many, too many things that they get bored with but they've done really well especially yeah. with, you know, the forts and temples and things mm. Um, and we found that we just would be a bit more flexible about how long we took with stuff with using the audio guides or just you know getting you to take us around Um, and they're all very well touristed so they're all very well organized which is really good as well they've got all the facilities and you know heaps of help for people Um, and uh, the you know stopping and just stopping and seeing anything on the side of the road if it's interesting it's great about having the flexibility the flexibility yes I think yeah. it's great to get out and just yeah get out of the car and go and buy something and uh you know yeah yeah if yeah if you want to skip something you can skip and if you yeah. want to take a bit longer you can take a bit longer and yeah we particularly enjoy walking around streets and bazaars and you spoil for choice yes you know yeah. everywhere you go and I think that you know for all of those monuments and um and activities and things that the most important thing is having that flexibility that you can change that at a, at a whim on the day um, if you're feeling a bit hot and bothered because you've just finished a, a look around a you know spectacular fort you can say look you know let's just um, chill for a couple of hours before doing the next thing rather than 
possibly being on a big group tour where you're going to go one thing to the next yeah. and no opportunity and to out. take a break. You yeah. can't out or you miss out. Mm. So the flexibility of, um, of what we've had has just been really good, yeah. the ability to be able to do that, um, to, to you know, let you just sort of go with the flow and, um, and alter it to, to what you wish. So how would you like to explain your hotels, restaurant, the food, all at the same? Um, how do you rate your hotels and what about the food? Just, just tell me about the whole thing. <laughs> uh, so the hotels have been great, haven't they? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we, um, there's no way, you know, we get the opportunity to stay in such beautiful I mean, just historic for a start. Especially the heritage properties. Yeah, yeah. Like Especially the heritage properties. That, early, yeah. yeah, they, they, they just um, they defy belief. You know, to actually contemplate being in a bedroom where the building is older than your entire country is, you know, and just so lovingly presented, and so so cared for, and just being spoiled. It's lovely, um, and. Every one of the hotels has been a um, really pleasant place to stay. We haven't had really any problems. No, not really any problems no, at all. None so, at all. I mean, I think, you know, we made the choice to have a, a blend of yeah. um, some modern hotels and, and heritage hotels. And, you know, I guess if there was anything to be said about that, in Delhi it was nice having, um, you know, an airport hotel, one close to the airport. Mm. But, you know, I've been so impressed with the heritage hotels that probably doing it again I would say no we're not going to anywhere else but the heritage hotels because I, I really enjoy the, the the architecture of that and the, the fact that the building is really old and they're done so well and the people um, you know are quite amazing in the service side so you know we've we've really um, really been you know blown away by that whole yeah. experience of staying in these places that uh, mm -hmm. you know it's yeah. so impressive these um, young guests they like the hotels as well did you like the hotel local? um all the hotels have been pretty good well really good especially the heritage ones they've been like overwhelmingly amazing and for me i like pools <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah, the food in the places have been lovely, mm. especially dinner. That's been nice. Yeah, the hotels they're really nice when they're old because it's like you're staying in this palace that was used hundreds and hundreds of years ago, and you you're just staying there, and it's it's pretty cool. It gives the just give you the feeling. Yeah. Uh, with the, the kings and king, they used to like, feel like that, how yeah, the people yeah. used to live 300 years yeah. back yeah. with all that um, special um, treatments, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Great. And how about the food? And food. Um, well, Dave and I particularly love Indian food and um, it's been really nice to try the real McCoy, hasn't yes, it? Yes. Really sure. nice to sample, you know, from fancy restaurants to street food. Um, we 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 love eating street food and some of the stuff that you know has come through the car window is just been spectacular <laughs> really good Sticky. stuff and you know the hotels offer um, a really good choice of stuff as well and for the children sometimes stuff off the street maybe is a little bit spicy but we've have found that you can find stuff that yeah. you know you ask try to leave the spice yeah, out. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we, yeah, we did, we did um, do the McDonald's thing the once. Um, yeah, yeah. It's always an, an option, isn't there? I mean, you can ask for it with less spice, but because it's hot during the day, you, you're tending to be eating more in the morning and uh, snacking during the day, yeah. um, which, you know, means it isn't too much of a worry to have to get a big feed during the day. No. Um, the evening meal is good and, and snacks during the day from the street are good. And um, the lassi is definitely lassi. spectacular. Yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful way to start the morning. Like no, it's not. No. <laughs> it's no. And neither is anything that comes out of the tandoor. It's just, you, you can just... Mwah, yeah, gorgeous. So the food is fantastic. And, you know, even if you don't want to eat Indian, there's plenty of options. Yeah. 
you know, what were the roads, the vehicle, the driver, was everything was good to the vehicle, like traveling in a special road and everything? Um, I'm, I'm particularly wussy when it comes to, you know, roads and driving and you know we've been to lots of countries where there's lots of traffic and you know the style of driving is very different to what we drive but the fact is is that everybody here knows what they're doing <laughs> and it, on on your first couple of days it looks a bit frightening but it works yeah and if yep. they didn't drive like that nothing would move no and i have to say that um the driver that we've had, he was awesome, wasn't yes, he? We yeah. felt very relaxed and, and very safe. And I mean, safe. Very safe. Yeah. So it, we haven't. Yeah. There's the odd pothole and there's plenty of cows <laughs> and all sorts of things. It's just part of the, exactly, the, and that's part of it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That adds to it. Yeah, yeah, adds to it. There's parts of the road which are you know easily managed at you know 100 kilometres an hour, and there are other parts yeah. where you're 40 or 50 kilometres an hour with. Uh, you know, potholes and cows to, to dodge, but you know that's all part of the countryside the and all part and of the chaos of it. Yeah. And uh, you know, um, as I say, if you can sit back and, and not worry about it mm -hmm. because you're being looked after and driven, it's yeah. you can just watch it go by and absorb it rather than worry about uh, the issues that you could have on the road if you're doing it yourself yeah, or sitting exactly. in the bus. Maybe, There's no so. way you get me driving. <laughs> Thank you very much for all the. Um, to for sharing your experience um, so far you had and uh, most importantly I would like to ask how did we do so far as team Kiwi and Tiger were a company and um, how was it, your experience with, with us and you know do you have any you know better expectations could you expect better or less or the share experience being like with us well I think um, you know we can honestly say that our experience has been really good really 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 good and um, you know, I guess when you come to a place and you, you haven't actually, uh, you know, um, travelled with somebody before, uh, you probably have concerns, um, but, you know, we really haven't had any problems at all. And, uh, you know, as I said earlier, the, the ability to be able to, to um, share the tour as and discuss what we want to do for the day and... Um, and and you know be part of that to know what what's planned but also be able to engage with that it's been quite important to to, to us i believe um the organization is is you know quite incredible there's a there's a lot of things happening in the background that you don't actually um know about and i mean it's not just about accommodation and uh and sites but you know there's a lot of organizing and in, in making certain accommodation is right and uh that we're on time to get from place to A to B and you know where the tickets are going to be gave the best from and the times to go to things. Yeah. So all of those things um, you know are happening in the background and, and you know not you know there hasn't really been any time where we've sort of gone oh well that's a bit of a waste or that was a bit ridiculous and uh, you know I think the the advantage of, of being able to discuss the day um, as the day evolves has been um, has been really helpful. And on the other side is um, it's been fun. Yes. You know? It's 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 not like touring with a stuffy tour group. Yes. It's like travelling with a mate. Yes. You know? Cause the, and there's the Kiwi side of your tiger is that, you know, it's like travelling with a mate, which is fun. And I see Na Nadia laughing. She's laughing about trying on turbans. I know that's what she's laughing about. And it's those things, you know, getting dressed up in a sari, which was hot and bothering, but it made me appreciate it, and I felt spectacular. And walking through the market in a turban, you know, that's... Everybody was looking at you like... Exactly. That's special stuff. That's that's the little extras. That's yes. the little extras having a competition and winning a puppet, you know, and you know Exactly. That's that's the extras and there there've been more of those than I could just name off the top of my head and that's the thing. It's been fun and carefree and to say it's like travelling mm. with a mate, which has been really good. So awesome. I appreciate that. It's been really fun.
not just for us two, but you know, for the kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And plus, they behave better with someone else around. <laughs> yeah. Have you got something yeah. to say? Yeah, of course I do. Um, well, it's been helpful. How if one of us gets sick or something, does it go directly to Pat Plan? They, you just change it. And we still get everything for we everything still gets to no. get put into the day. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no missing out. Like, yeah. yeah. Um and yeah. I've got a new friend now. <laughs> we can just drive to his house when it when he's not at work. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> just him chai. Um yeah, and it's been really nice to travel around the uh, north of India yeah. with Kiri and Tiger. It'll be sad to leave them. Great. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Just say some, anything. anything. Anything you felt special with Kiri and Tiger? Um, with us, the, basically. The whole trip's been like very well cared for. Mm -hmm. Like everything's been planned out so that we're not struggling <laughs> by ourselves. That's been good. All right, great. Thank you very much, guys, um, for choosing Kiwi and Tiger. I would like to thank again and um, for being such a lovely guest as well. I, I personally enjoyed a lot as well, you know, not not like, you know, just like clients. I personally enjoyed like a friend as well, to be honest. And um, um l like to thanks again for choosing India as your tourist destination and uh, hopefully come back. Um, because there's lots to see in, in India. You, you, <laughs> you can't see everything at, this, at once because it's a big country. And um, just um, in Udaipur at the moment, being sitting right next to Pichola, and it's lunchtime, so we ordered some food and um, fill up our ways. And thank you very much, very much for the reviews. It's um, hopefully help our future um, friends. Thank you. <laughs> Allah, <laughs> the